Guys, I think I've found the ultimate combo for a mini driver. How are you doing? Welcome back to a brand new video. It's Simon down here at Burford Golf Lab. Combination, I haven't hit this yet. And seeing as I'm a big fan of Cobra this year anyway, um, uh, I haven't hit the Tour 3 wood. And I've hit it with a normal standard length 3 wood shaft in it, the 6.5, which it comes with, um, uh, or you can get with it, you can obviously get softer. Um, but I haven't put a driver shaft in it, which is exactly what I've done today. So I'm going to hit it with a driver shaft and obviously it's going to go be another inch and a half longer um, and obviously you're going to get a bit more clubhead speed because obviously longer your accuracy which is the reason why most three wood lengths are three wood lengths is for that accuracy effect um, but I'm after raw distance how far what ball speeds can I get from a 12 degree because I've lofted it down so it was 13 if I can focus there we go so it's standard at 13.5 as a tour head. Obviously 15 degrees is normal, so 13.5, I've lofted this down to 12 degrees. So that is the majority of drivers out there on the market at the moment. So our address, same loft as a normal driver, but I can hit it off the deck. And me hitting stuff off the deck because I come massively on the inside normally, um, is gonna help. So I hopefully hit straight shot. So number one, does it go further? than most three woods, which I'm imagining it probably will. Number two, am I gonna be accurate? Which for me, is very unlikely. However, be very interested to see what spin rates this is gonna get. Obviously, it's quite a small head. The design of this is to obviously give yourself a bit more confidence for that better player. When it's sitting on the ground, it's gonna look tighter. Obviously, you're gonna be able to shape it a bit more. You're gonna be able to potentially have it out of the rough a tiny bit better. Um, but obviously, it's not gonna be that forgiving. So if you hit out the toe or the heel, you're not gonna get as much out of it. As well as with a driver length shaft in it, first thing on a Saturday morning, standing this with this on the first tee, how confident would you feel? That is, uh, that's questionable, but it looks great. As I say, I've got an extra stiff driver shaft in it to give myself the best possible chance of hitting this at least 300 yards. I'm looking to get this 300 yards basically and then seeing if that's A, consistent, B, um, achievable um, and C, uh, like and subscribe. So what we're going to do is we're going to hit a few balls. I'm going to talk over it, uh, give you my overall impression of this Cobra F9 Tour, AKA their mini driver, I'm calling it, because it's so lo low lofted, um, and hopefully low spinning, that's the design. Right, enough talking, let's hit it. This is quite possibly the most overpowered three wood combination I've ever come across, with that driver shaft and this head. Um, the head is so tiny uh, and it's so low lofted that I was able to hit this. Um, a pretty decent way especially for a three wood hitting consistent 300 yard shots with a three wood um is obviously not the normal mainly because of the spin rate mainly because three woods are obviously lofted up quite a bit so you can not only hit them off the ground um, but obviously off the tee as well um, and obviously backspin helps in terms of forgiveness and trying to um, swallow up that side spin. However, these are the first three hits of the day. Um, as soon as I flick the camera on, um, I just hit all three of these. I was trying to not necessarily go after it, but obviously get a decent amount. And I was averaging about 165 to 170 ball speed um, and all of them were going 300 yards plus. Now I have got a driver shaft in it, which does change the dynamics slightly. Um, obviously length, always going to add club head speed but then also make it harder to obviously control hence why we have shorter shafts um, and longer shafts making sure you're getting the right um, contact hitting out middle as well as obviously club head speed now the impressive thing with this is that the spin rate just was so low off the ground so for someone that swings it reasonably fast like myself normally when i hit these kind of clubs they just balloon into the air and no matter how hard i hit them or the ball speed i get out of them they just go into the um atmosphere and then all of a sudden I'm um, getting no distance or no rollout anyway with this thing however like 
it just went and you can see the ball flight on it not only was it going or carrying a good 280 yards but it was rolling out consistently all the time um and yeah i mean to be perfectly honest i probably feel more comfortable after warming up with this um, than i would with a driver mainly because the head is the sweet spot so if you hit it then you're going to be hanging out in the middle pretty much i don't know how comfortable i would be however playing tournament under pressure on the tee Mm, I don't know how I'd probably get on with that. But it's nice to know, and this is what I want to show you guys, it's nice to know and have a look at how the ball reacts. Because there's three components that make a ball go far. Um, ball speed, launch angle, spin rate. That's it. I and mean, obviously, spin rate's key. Obviously, if your spin rate's too high, you're losing distance. If your spin rate's too low, then you're not carrying the ball far enough. Um, launch angle's obviously key as well, because getting that ball up in the air, as well as a low spin rate, equals that distance and then ball speed is obviously um quite obvious obviously the faster the ball comes off the face the faster and further it's potentially going to go now i caught this one pretty thin but that is the longest shot of the day i think i hit maybe a bit further a bit later 175 ball seed one three one six distance that is monstrous there's a lot of drivers um if i was to hit a driver for example at 12 degree loft there's no way i'm getting it out there so it was surprising it was an interesting combination as i say i haven't hit this um three wood before and as soon as i noticed that i could obviously whack the driver shaft in it as well um i had to give it the test now the question is would i go with a driver shaft or would i go with a standard three wood shaft because i don't struggle for distance i'm pretty sure if i was to ever get um this club i'd probably go three wood shaft which probably makes this video completely pointless um uh, mainly because you want that control however if you are potentially looking for a bit more distance um, and you're a very consistent three wood player and you struggle with a driver having a bit more length on your three wood isn't necessarily um a bad thing a lot of people that hit down on the ball a lot i showed you that one because i got 176 ball speed by the way which i think is what i maxed out at um a lot of people struggle to hit their drivers because they probably hit down on the ball quite a lot um but they get they get on really well with their three wood um mainly because of the added loft having a longer shaft in your three wood isn't necessarily a bad thing because it's going to give you more club head speed and also potentially shallow out your swing as well if you are that one of these people that comes a bit steeper so even though it wouldn't be a great setup for myself um uh, it's something to have a look at especially if you're looking to get a three wood or you're buying a new three wood or second hand three wood it's something to have a look at now i did also hit this off the tee um which obviously gave myself a lot longer carry um but then the spin rate was just too high my launch angle was too high um and unfortunately my dynamic loft was too high but i still were getting 310 which is consistent i couldn't hit like a knuckle one out there to like 340 i think if you've got the right conditions you probably could get this to 340 um but yeah i think overall as a three wood um it is um good obviously um as any 2019 three wood out there is um but it was interesting put the driver shaft in it and as i say it's probably the longest three wood i've hit and i'm going to hit over 2019. right guys there you have it cobra f9 tour big fan driver shaft goes an absolute mile the ball doesn't know what it's getting hit by at the end of the day um guys if you like this video leave it a like as always please subscribe if you are new and i'll catch you guys later